one I made and this was the one in the video. So we are going to make his girlfriend. And just move you up a little bit. And her name is Misty. And you will see, like you did see the picture of her in the beginning of the, of the video. Um, and I have not fully made her yet, so I can't show you as I'm making it right now. So this is the body that we made for um, Mr. Jingles. And I'm gonna reference that video below because I showed you how to sew everything in that video and it's the same it is going to be for her. So I had a sweater um, that I cut and it had this big ribbing on it. It was the bottom of the sweater. So I cut some of that off. I had some lace. Um, I believe it was from another shirt or sweater that I got from a thrift store. It might have been from a tank top that I got. So that's going to be her skirt. So it was part of this. It could have been even part of the sleeve which it was because I didn't cut, I haven't cut this bottom. So this was part of the sleeve from the sweater and it could have been from another sweater because these two don't match. So this was from another sweater. This I'm going to use for as her hat. I just took and I sewed this on by machine. Um, I sewed it down here and then I sewed it up here so it would stay on so it wouldn't flop. And then I just, I doubled my thread this time because I did it once just singly and it broke. And then I just weaved it in and out with the needle and thread. And so that's going to go for her skirt. But I think first we're going to do her arms and legs. So we'll set that aside. So I have one of her legs done. And then I have one of her arms done and this is from this first sweater that I just showed you so this is going to be her top also and this is her for her leg and then I have her shoe done so all of this sewing will be in the video with Mr. Jingles so you'll have to go and watch that one and then I have her um, sleeve here so I'm going to show you how I did that and this I just sewed it this was part of the sleeve and this was cut off but it's going to get rolled up and her sleeve is kind of coming apart there a little bit okay I think I'm going to re-sew this because it looks my stitching is really loose so I'm going to take a quick break and re-sew this sleeve because it's I didn't notice it until now that my stitching was really bad so I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to re-sew this and I'll be right back okay I'm back so I re-sewed that so then what we're going to do is you're going to take and this is a raw edge because I cut it because it was really long for the cuff on the sleeve that I cut this out of um, like this and so this was even cut so I just took it and all the measurements the supplies will be listed in the description box below they are just the same as they are for Mr. Jingles so this was probably about three inches wide and this is really a lot longer than I need it to be but we're just going to cut it and then we're going to glue it on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this long cuff or it depends on your sweater. And I got my sweaters at a thrift store and you're going to tuck that up because I want a really nice cuff like that one, okay? So to get it so I don't have any of the seams showing, I tucked it in and then I'm just going to do just a couple of dots of glue like right there on 
the seam and then maybe over here just enough to hold it and then turn that back in and then you're just going to flip that up and then you're just going to glue this the cuff part and we're going to glue that before we put her arm in there and then you can just press that i'm using a low temp glue gun And then you just make sure you get both of your cuffs the same and that your glue isn't sticking, the sweater isn't sticking to itself. And then what I did, um, and you'll have to go back to the video if you watch Mr. Jingles, you'll know how I did her, her hands. So I made her hand so that she has um, for her mitten and then her thumb. And then you're going to take and you're going to roll the mitten back. And you're going to put that in and you're going to make sure that thumb gets into the thumb part of the mitten and then the hand part all the way down there and actually before we do that we're going to take i'm going to undo that now that i said you do we're going to roll her arm up in some of this um, this is a quilt batting, but you could use if you have a really thin kind of fleece or felt You could do that too I'm just putting a little bit of glue there And I'm just going to roll it And I'm just going to take and I'm going to hold this down so I don't have a hard time Flipping this over. I'm going to glue right there Where I rolled it over and then I can just roll it a little bit, press it, and then cut that excess off. So we don't want we don't want our arms to be really full. We just want enough um, so it kind of fills up her sleeve. And I'm going to cut that off. So this is going to make her arm bendable and her hand bendable. So now we're going to stick her mitten on. And get that thumb in the thumb of the mitten and the hand part all the way down there and then you're going to take a little bit of glue and go all the way around and then press it and then we're going to take her arm so what we're going to do is you're going to take your needle nose players you're going to put them through where this is her this is her wrist and you're going to put them through the other end and pull the sweater and you're going to pull that all the way so the needle nose players are come out you're going to grab the end and you're going to pull this down and pull her sleeve up and you make sure you're so you can pull it all the way out okay and then you're going to tuck that mitten in the sleeve and I get the seam part is always down on this part of the mitten okay let me take a quick look and see if you guys are seeing this well enough so let me check okay so we have that so now we're going to take and we're going to glue this sleeve to her mitten and you're just going to make sure that they both are the same her hand her mittens her hands and then this part i'm going to show you how i cut that off the sweater because part of this is going to be this is the collar of the sweater let me just move some stuff here so this is the collar this is the and i've already cut it up you can see so here is the bottom of the, of the sweater and this was the collar it was just big and long so this is going to be her shirt so i'm going to take a piece over here and i'm going to cut for her other sleeve and i'm just going to follow some of the the lines of the sweater the 
um, ribbing or the stitching. And I'm just going to go over probably about three inches. And I'm just going to follow and go straight up. And then you're going to sew right sides together. And I'm going to cut this off because it's too stiff to bend. So you're going to sew right sides together. Um, you could probably glue it. It's really, for, for me anyway, I wouldn't because it's really see-through. So it depends on your sweater. It depends on how thick or how, you know, if it's really see-through. So let me take a quick break and I'm going to sew that and I will be right back. Okay, so while we're cutting her sleeve, we are going to cut her shirt, and then I can sew them both at once. So I'm just going to cut this whole piece off. So if you're looking for sweaters, or I look at all the shirts actually when I go to the thrift store, and I can glance pretty quick and see what um, I like and what I don't. And I'm going to cut this off. And I kind of want to do this the way I did um, Mr. Jingle with his where we took this little piece was part of the sleeve and we gathered it by his neck and then I just fold I have a hard time with that word, folded. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> I turned it, <laughs> and then we just glued his little arms under here. So it hit his arms. We didn't have to sew those on. We sewed his legs on, though. Okay, so we're going to do that with her sweater, her shirt, and then she'll have her skirt on. So I just have to... Um, see how much I'm going to need to go around her. So I just am just kind of doing, um, just wrapping it around, giving myself a little bit for the seam. And I'm even actually going to put her sweater, her skirt on. And this did have a seam where the skirt was, so that's where I started and gathered it. So now I'm going to take this and I would do the finished edge on the bottom and then we can do the raw edge up on top. So you're just going to take and kind of wrap it around and see if you want it loose or if you want it more fit, more fitting, more tight, tighter. So I'm going to cut it probably right about here. And I'm just gonna follow the lines on the sweater. And this has got sequins in it. And I sewed the other arm with my machine and they're really small so it didn't seem like it bothered it. So now what I'm gonna do is go to my machine and I'm gonna sew, I fold, you fold that over and then I'm gonna sew here and I'm just going to leave this raw edge. Okay, so I'm going to do that in the sleeve, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have her sleeve. And when I sewed it, you're going to sew the finished edge. So you can line those up and make sure that that's even. So that's where I would start. I'm trying to find my scissors. And then clip any of your threads. And I did the same thing with the, the shirt. I started with the finished edge so it would all line up. And I got like a little loose thread. And then you're going to turn these right side out. And 
And like I said, this is probably longer than we need. And it's with this sweater, it's kind of going to shed and stuff. And then we're going to turn this right side out. And if you want to shake it, sometimes you can shake it in the garbage. When I made my angel gnomes, I had to go outside and some of it I cut outside and they, the material I used for the wings just was just everywhere. Okay, so now we're going to take, and first, now that we got her, well, we got to finish her sleeve. So we're going to set that aside. So we're going to take this sleeve and you're going to take your needle nose pliers again. And you're going to bring it through, keep track of where your seam is on this part and bring your needle nose pliers all the way through and you should be able to open them up, grab the sweater and then pull this down and pull your sleeve through at the same time as you're pulling this down and pulling this up. So then we can, we'll see, we won't glue this quite yet because I'm not sure if I want this to be all of her sleeve or if I want it up like that. I haven't decided yet, so we'll figure that out when we put her arms on. But these are going to be too long. We're going to cut those down, but I'm not going to do it until I get ready to put her arms on. So we have both of those done and... His leg, we got to do his leg. His leg is just like his, um, his sleeve. I have to find my other piece of. So his leg, his leg, do I, am I missing his leg? I thought I had it here. Okay, give me, a, I have to go find his, I have to find his leg. I'll be right back. Okay, found his leg. And what I forgot to tell you is I had um, three pipe cleaners for his arms and his legs. So you're going to need three times four, 12. You're going to need 12. Is that right? Or two times 12. So you're going to need 12 pipe cleaners and you're going to twist them so that it gives you a nice arm so you can bend it so it's kind of sturdy and his legs so we're making his legs bendable too okay and um so this i did the whole pipe cleaner and i folded the edge over and then hot glued it and then we're going to wrap it in the batting again like we did the arm so you can just take and put a little bit of glue right on the edge there and lay you can leave a little bit out lay that right in the glue and then just start rolling it a little bit a couple of times and then take and hold on to it like this and then put your glue right underneath that edge where it's folded over and then press that down and then you can cut that excess off. That's an easy way to do it. And then you don't have to worry about turning it over and burning your fingers. And now we're going to do, we're going to turn this right side out. And we're going to sew his legs on instead of gluing them. So all the pattern, I'll link the pattern. Everything is going to be the same as it is for Mr. Jingles. Except her clothes are going to be up to you on what you want to do for her her skirt and her her shirt so that's going to be all up to you that's where you get to use your creativity so we're going to take our needle nose players again and I just I think I had seen somebody on YouTube do this before um and I don't remember and so I just put my needle nose players bring everything all the way up make sure they're clean if so they're not I mean mine look like it's just the way the metal is. It looks like they're, you know, greasy or whatever, but they're not. So make sure they're clean. And then pull that all the way up. And then grab onto your leg. And let's see. We're going to have... 
I'm not sure we're gonna put that in okay so we're gonna put this part that I folded and glued that's gonna go in his shoe so you're gonna pull that all the way and then we're gonna glue this so when we put it in the shoe it doesn't come apart and then we're gonna tie so you're gonna sew his shoes together and you're gonna stuff it but leave enough room in the top of the shoe so you can put his leg and you're gonna tuck that down in there her I'm saying hit now I'm talking about him her her so we gave her a little bow and some little jewels on her shoes so let me get see some crochet thread I tied it off with crochet thread first and I doubled it and I went down inside I went down a little bit I didn't want to go right near the edge and glued it because I wanted this to be kind of loose so then you're going to take your thread and you're going to tie her shoe off you're going to make sure it's the same on both and I just tied a double knot and then we'll add a bow so we'll do we'll add her bow after we get her legs sewed on so now we want both of her legs to be the same and move her arms so you're gonna cut some of this off but you're gonna want it long enough because we're going to tuck it in and I showed you on mr. jingles how I sewed all of this on so I'm gonna take a quick break and I'm going to sew it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it because I've got his, her, her feet lined up. So I'm going to cut it about here. And I'm going to have to go in here and cut a little bit of this off. Make sure you don't cut your... Um, if you're going to cut, end up cutting your uh, pipe cleaner, make sure you use your wire cutters. I get these ones or have gotten them at Hobby Lobby. They're like $20, $22. They're really nice. They're in with the um, uh, floral and stuff. And I did notice it had some grease on there. And they cut through, I mean, some thick wire. My girlfriend, we were doing some crafts and she was making some... Um, these wooden presents and she needed to cut some of the greenery and her hers weren't working so we had went shopping and she found these and I lost mine and I couldn't find them so I bought another pair and now I found them and I got two <laughs> that's how it always goes though once you lose it go buy it and then you'll find it okay so I'm gonna tuck this in and I still have to cut some more of his her leg off and I'm gonna sew her legs on and I'll be back and then we'll finish up her skirt and put her shirt on and her arms. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I decided to do was show you um, how I am sewing her legs on. And I did, I'm going to do it a little differently than I did with Mr. Jingles. I'm just trying to make sure that I've got them even. So I'm going to take this thread here, and hopefully I'll have enough. I'm going to try to weave it underneath and go over instead of cutting it. And go over to the other leg. And let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn her. She's not in a very good position right now. <laughs> We're going to put that leg down. <laughs> okay, so I am right here. And I'm going to show you just an easy way than what I did with Mr. Jingles. So you're just going to go through both of the leg. You don't even have to sew that shut right now because we're going to do it as 
and you're just going to take up a little bit of fabric and you're going through both okay her body here and then just go back from the top here and grab some of the body go into the leg and you're going to do that all the way across So this way you're sewing the legs shut and sewing it on at the same time. And hopefully we don't run out of thread. So you're going into the body in through both layers, both of those little folds of her leg that you've folded this part in that raw edge. And then make sure you get the corner of her leg. And then we're just going to knot this off. And we're going to barely have enough. So you're going to get, if you can get a little loop, if you have enough, go through your loop. I just barely have enough to get in there. And I'm going to maybe do it again because I didn't really get the corner of her leg. I have just enough I can see and get in there. I know it's hard for you guys probably to see because I'm using the same color thread. And you're going to take that and you're going to weave it in and come out and then cut that off. And put your needle in your pin cushion. Okay, so there's her legs, and hopefully they're not too long. Okay, so we got her skirt. We're going to put her skirt on. And I still have the needle attached because I didn't want to cut it off because I didn't want to have my thread get lost. So we're going to make sure that her um, skirt is even all the way around. So you're going to get this, if you have it, if you have a seam, have the seam in the back, make sure her little tushy's covered up. And let's see, we got to get it straight. So then you're going to take both of these. And when I put this through, I doubled my crochet thread. It's a heavy crochet thread. And I knotted it. So then we're going to take, and now I'm going to cut my needle off. And then I'm going to grab and just tie these in a knot and try not to break. It shouldn't break, but I got it doubled. And then you're going to have to try to hang on to that. And do a couple of knots. If you do the surgeon's knot where we do like two or three loops and then you pull it. And then I do a regular knot after that. And just leave that about a half inch long. And then you can tuck that in. And you're not going to see that raw edge on her. And you should be able to pull it down if you didn't get it down far enough. So now we're going to take her shirt and the seam in the back. And her little legs are flopping everywhere. So we got her dress, we got her shirt. So you're going to figure out how much of her skirt you want, if whatever kind of outfit you're going to do on her. And I'm going to fold this collar down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some thread and I'm just going to gather it. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to use the needle. You're just going to take some thread and you're going to go around her neck. And 
then just tighten that and this will secure this so we don't have to do a stitch or gathering stitch like we did with her skirt. No need to. And then just cut that. Don't cut too close to the knot because you're not going to see it. It's going to be hidden under there. And if we want, we can cut some of that off. I think I'm going to cut a little bit. I think it's a little long for me. So this stuff is going to go everywhere. And if you wanted to make this so it was kind of raggy, oh, if you wanted to make it kind of raggy looking is what I say, then you're just going to pull on your stitching, your sweater and stuff. And I'm just trying to get this so it's even. I'm going to kind of slope it down in the front compared to the back. Okay, so that's how I did her sweater was I just angled it down this way. And now we can do her arms and we're gonna have to cut her arms short. So I'm gonna cut them probably about here. And like I said, just be careful if you have your, um, of the uh, pipe cleaner. And then just line both sleeves up. Let me get her out of the way. So just line both sleeves up and cut them both the same. And then we're gonna flip this up and then we're just gonna glue. You're gonna glue her sleeve if you need to glue in there a little bit. You gotta get a good glue, you gotta get a glue stack. I've been reorganizing my craft area again and decluttering. I have some de-stash videos coming up um, hopefully this week and then I'm going to try to get out um, hopefully by next weekend a video for a thousand subscriber giveaway and a 5,000 I have reached 5,000 subscribers thank you guys very much if you have subscribed to my channel and if you have been with me for a year it will be a year on January 21st, I believe, when I posted my first video. Okay, I'm thinking her arm is still too long. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna cut it some more. Okay, so her arm length is from the mitten to the end is eight inches. And that's gonna depend on what you want how long, how short you want her arm. So now we're gonna cut her other one. Now that we know it's eight inches, we're cutting about another inch off. And make sure you're not going through your pipe cleaner with your scissor. And you can put some glue around that sweater and then make sure you get the glue on the right side. You're gonna put it, my glue gun, you're gonna put it on this side because her thumb is gonna point up. So be mindful when you're putting, and I got her thumb over there. So be mindful of where you're putting your glue. And I gotta turn her around here so I get her arms in the right spot. And I still think this arm's a little long, so I'm gonna cut a little bit more. I'm going through glue. Okay, I'll turn it around in just a second. So I've glued her arms underneath her sweater, and the other one I have to glue. It's kind of hard to see but I've glued her arms right here. Okay, this is her arm.
I have to find a little stool or something because it seems like lately I'm having to get my gnomes sitting on something. So you're just going to tuck that in and then you're just going to fold that. Your other arm is kind of falling down. So you're going to really have to make sure you glue it up here. Because if you don't glue this front part here, it's going to kind of droop. And that's what mine has kind of done. And just be careful if you're using a hot glue gun. Mine is low temp. Okay, I have a question for you. And leave this in the comments. Am I the only one that gets glue on their fingernails? <laughs> I... I, I have artificial nails and the glue just sticks to them horrible and I don't know if it's because of that or what but you let me know in the comments below if you get glue hot glue on your fingernails because I'd like to be not the only one okay so there is her little sweater and if you notice anything about her you let me know and I might have her legs need to be fixed. I might have to put her legs closer together. I don't know. Okay, so now we have to do her hair and her hat. So let me set her aside. And her hat is going to be out of this sweater. So let me, I'm just going to cut this part of the sweater and I'm going to leave this ribbing because I might want that for if I do another girl gnome so I'm going to cut that off so I'm just going to cut it right off here because the way I did Mr. Jingles his hat was folded up like this and you can see and then I just, here's the seam. This was probably a sleeve. Or I could have sewed it. I couldn't tell you right now. So, so figure out, because his, I'm going to cut it like right up to where the armpits are on the sweater. And I wash my sweaters before I use them, of course. And I don't know if I'll need that for anything, but... I'll cut this back off. Okay, so I need to go back to the sewing machine and sew this. And I'm going to sew it kind of like I do at an angle. Or no. No, I'm going to sew it straight. We're going to sew it straight. And I'm even going to cut these seams off. Because she's going to have a ponytail and hers is going to be coming through the top of her hat. So you're going to sew a tube and you're going to leave about three, about three to four inches on the top that you're not going to sew. So we fold it in half and you don't have to worry about this raw edge. We're going to tuck it up and you're going to sew up here to about and leave about four, three to four inches for her little tassel on her hat. Okay, so let me do that and I'll be right back. back. So I did not need that wide of a piece. And if this is the width, I'll let you know. It depends on how big your head is. And I know when I looked at her head before I started sewing it that I would have to make it smaller. So to get, and this is kind of how I did when I did my snowman, was I just flipped the edge up because I didn't want, I mean, if I did this, let me show you because I know I, I'm trying not to do a long video, but it's hard, you guys. So if I did her hat like this and I flipped this edge up, then I see the wrong side and a seam. I don't like that. So what I do is so there I left this open 
right here. This is the top of the hat. So for the bottom, for her, by her, the if you want to call it the brim or whatever, it's folded up like that. So now we're going to see, and we've got her hair and her nose that we have to put on. And I'm thinking about giving her eyes, but I'm not sure. So I got to see if this is going to fit. And that should be good because then it'll come down. So let's get her nose on. And I probably showed you in the Mr. Jingles video how to make her nose and keep her side down. So Okay, I'm back. I finally figured out how I was going to do her hair. So I cut her top of her hat for the tassels down. And what I did for her hair was I took a piece of fur and I cut it about eight inches long and to a point. And you're still going to want to cut the backing. And then I cut other pieces that I cut to a point really thin and I took two of them and glued them together so I just went down the strip of the backing of the fur and lined both of them up and glued the backings together on top of each other and squeeze them together and then I just took and kind of ruffled up the fur and make sure to get the glue. Make sure it's a little dry before you do that. Just squeeze that. And then I just, the like the edges, kind of roughed it up a little bit. So it would kind of hide the backing. And then you're going to take and you're going to glue three of these on. I have three. And we're gonna glue them to the underneath side of the ponytail. So we'll do one, we'll do them about halfway, however length you want her ponytail. And then you can just glue those right on top of each other. If you wanna put a rubber band, I don't wanna put a rubber band because I don't know if it's gonna stick out of the hat yet. So this is why I would rather glue it and this all right here is going to get glued on the top of her head. Okay, so make sure you have that glued on. Okay, so now we're going to put her hat on and then I cut a couple of short pieces that are going to go alongside her nose but I'm going to put her hat on first so what I did with her hat was I just tacked it down in about three spots very lightly with hot glue and this is the wrong side so now you're going to turn that right side out and she's got fur all over her hat. So you're going to take her hat, the seam side, it's going to go in the back. And you're going to pull that down. And then we're going to take and glue her hair to the top of her head. And you're going to kind of try to bunch it. Maybe pinch it together so it's going to stick up a little bit. And then we're going to get 
some thread, get some crochet thread, and we're going to try and wrap it around her hat. I'm going to do three, and then I'll probably leave some as um, some tails. So now you got to try to find, get all of her hat. So we're going to wrap this around first. Okay, so we're just going to leave that. So what we're going to do, and if that falls off, we'll just have to put it back on and move that. We're going to put her down and we're going to glue her hat. So you're going to go real close to the edge. Make sure you have, you don't have a bunch of fur on your glue gun. I had actually accidentally unplugged mine for some reason. And then keep her hair out of the glue gun and then flip that down and press it. And then roll her over to the side and then do the side of her hat. Don't do the front yet because we have to tuck her hair into the front. So just do up to the sides, right up by her nose. Take the little piece, put a little bit on and glue it right to her head alongside her nose. And then do the other side Lift her hat up. You just need a little bit on the piece of fur. And you can use yarn if you want to use yarn. If you want to braid some yarn, you can do that for her ponytails in the front. And now we're going to take and glue her nose. And I'm going to put it on her hat. And you're going to glue that right to her nose and her hair. And now we're going to take if make sure all of her hat is in all the because I cut the fringes to maybe an inch long or so. And then you're going to wrap that around and tighten that. No, I'm losing. I got some short threads and long threads here, so I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it around so I can get a tight knot. There. So if you wrap it around a couple times, you can get it tight, and then you'll be able to knot it. So we have to glue her little flap down on her collar from her shirt because it wants to pull the hat up. So glue that down if you have to because part of mine I did and part of mine I didn't have to because it got glued down. And then we can bend her arms and her legs. She's got fur everywhere. So let me get some ribbon. And then we're going to put a bow in her hair. And then I have a little piece of jewelry. And I'll get that ready and I'll be right back. back. So I made a ribbon. I forgot we had to do the ribbon for her little foot. So I made that. And I'm just going to make sure that it's not too big. So I just tied like a eighth inch ribbon. I did two um, pieces of ribbon and I tied it in a bow. And I'm gonna glue it to her shoe, her foot. And then I'm gonna glue the little bead on, or the little rhinestone on there. So 
I just take a pair of tweezers, grab my little rhinestone, and put the glue on. And I don't think that's the right size. And you just need a little, and you're going to put it right in the middle of the bow. And then I'm going to take two bigger ones. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. They came in a whole bunch of different sizes. And I'm going to put it on her sleeve. And I'm going to pull this one down. And I'm going to put it right there. And then I got a bow. I did the bow with two pieces of jute and one piece of ribbon. And we're gonna glue that to her hat. And we're gonna glue it on this side. And then I just took some beads that I had and some chain and I combined them all together and I took a brad that like I did for Mr. Jingles. This is what a brad is and that's how I fastened it on right underneath her nose so it's like a necklace and I just put it through the chain and then I just fastened it underneath here and so I don't have to you don't have to sew it or anything. And then I made her a little bouquet. So I just took a bunch of greenery, some white flowers, some red picks, and I um, kind of cut them off, rubber band. And then I'm gonna wrap some jute around to hide the stem and the rubber band. And I'll leave myself a tail. And I'm gonna go all the way down and if you get down here, you might have to add some glue just so we can hide that. So just put glue on there and just wrap it until you get it all covered. And you can just even kind of squeeze it in there. If you don't get the whole bottom, that's fine as long as you get most of it and cut that off and then this part will just wind around and glue it and then we'll cut that off so you could glue that underneath or wherever you want to and then we're just going to take and i don't have any more of the white ribbon or i would add white ribbon to this but we'll just make another little bow and put on there And then we will get Mr. Jingles, and him and Misty can be together. So we're going to glue that to the bouquet. Make sure we get it on the front. So just like that. And then we will give it to her. Let's see, let's get him so we can figure out, um, I wanna see what side I want. The bouquet, I'm gonna pick the first one that I made. And they can even hold hands, Oh, <laughs> They're gonna hold hands whether they want to or not. And she's gonna put the bouquet in this hand. I'm not gonna glue it right now. And he doesn't, but the other one does. So I suppose I should switch them. And so I want to show you the back of Misty. And there she's got his little bells. And let me show you the back of her hair. So there's the back. Oops, she lost her okay. So there's her ponytail. So I think that turned out pretty good. She looks really cute. 
So this is my first, I made some girl gnomes while Mrs. Uh, uh, Grandma Ellie and maybe some other ones before YouTube. Um, but I like the way her ponytail is. And then she's got some of her fringes up there. And then her on the front. I was gonna try to give her bangs, but it didn't look good. So, and they can hold hands. And he has the key to her heart. And she has a little heart. It's hard to see it, but it's there somewhere. Oh, it's right at the bottom. It's right here. So he has the key to her, Misty's heart. Thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate it so much you tuning in and watching me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to join my crafting community and you click on the subscribe and then click on the bell and that will notify you each time I upload a new video. If you already have subscribed, thank you very much for supporting my channel and I appreciate it so much and I hope you guys have a wonderful week thank you for tuning in love you guys bye bye